For some reason, the Buffalo Bills just can't seem to beat the Cincinnati Bengals. The Bengals got the win against Buffalo Sunday night, 24-18. to And there was never a time during this game where you were watching the outcome of this game and you felt like the Bills had a chance to win. Joe Burrow and company just seemed to have all the answers for Sean McDermott's defense. And Joe Burrow picked up from where he left off and his previous performance against the San Francisco 49ers. I mean, he was just dotting up this Buffalo Bills defense. He was hitting deep plays downfield to T. Higgins. Jamar Chase couldn't be covered. And Cincinnati... Didn't have a lot of success running the football. Just like Buffalo didn't have a lot of success running the football in this game. But Joe Burrow outclassed and outperformed Josh Allen for the second straight matchup that these two teams played in. Joe Burrow outplayed Josh Allen in the divisional round game that they played in last year when they won 27-10. And this game went the same way similarly to how the last game went in the playoffs between these two teams for Buffalo. What did I say Buffalo needed to do to be able to beat Cincinnati? They needed to play complimentary football, not overly relying on Josh Allen, not just throwing the football, but running the football, and that didn't happen because who was leading the Buffalo Bills in rushing yards in this game? Josh Allen. They didn't get no assistance from James Cook or any of the other running backs that they had on this roster, and the Bills... Utilizing Josh Allen's legs is definitely something that you have to do if you can't get the other running backs on your team going. But the Bengals, they didn't allow Josh Allen to get outside the pocket, extend plays on third downs, and keep the drives alive with his legs. Like They did a really good job at making sure that Josh Allen didn't beat them with his legs, rather if it was on design quarterback runs or rather when he decided to get outside the pocket when nobody was open. They had a spy on him nearly every single play. They basically said, hey, Josh Allen, if you're going to beat us, you're going to have to make good decisions from within the pocket, which is also something something that Josh Allen struggled to do in this game. And the reason why Joe Burrow has such the advantage in this matchup over Josh Allen is because Josh Allen is a reckless player at times. He tends to throw caution to the wind. Sometimes it pays off and sometimes it backfires. And when you're going up against a quarterback like Joe Burrow, that's so cerebral, that does a really good job at taking care of the football, you cannot afford mistakes because he's going to make you pay every single time. There's a reason why a lot of people think that Joe Burrow right now is is this generation's version of Tom Brady. Because although Tom Brady wasn't as talented as guys like Aaron Rodgers and some of the other great quarterbacks that he's matched up against throughout his Hall of Fame career, what did Tom Brady do so well in his career that made him the greatest quarterback of all time? He rose his game up in the big moments and he also took care of the football. Joe Burrow does both of those things well. In the full quarter of games, you can trust him with the lead. You can trust him from behind. You can't say the same thing about Josh Allen. Josh Allen is this great player, but he's too nuclear. One game, he could go off and have a big-time MVP caliber performance, and then the next game, he could struggle and cost you with his costly mistakes. Buffalo's defense we know that they've been dealing with some significant injuries. We get that. But around this time of the NFL season, everybody's dealing with injuries. Everybody's banged up. So you got to find a way to overcompensate for that. And I'm starting to realize that Sean McDermott, his defense is a big issue why the Buffalo Bills are not just unable to beat Cincinnati, but why they continue to disappoint in the playoffs every year. Sean McDermott got outcoached by Zach Taylor. Sean McDermott calls the plays for the Bills defense, and Zach Taylor calls the plays for the Bengals offense. And Zach Taylor was coaching circles around the Buffalo Bills defense. And even when the Bills defense was able to get stopped, they didn't do too much with it. At halftime, this game was 21-7. The Bengals had the lead. And even when Buffalo late was able to make this a close game and it became 24-18, you never really felt like the Bills were going to have a shot at winning this thing. 
Look at what the Bengals did their final possession. They ran the clock out. The Bills defense couldn't get their offense another opportunity. Sean McDermott's defense is a large reason why Cincinnati continues to own this team. Joe Burrow should pretty much have minority ownership of this Buffalo Bills franchise because every time they play, he owns this defense and he owns Josh Allen. I know it may sound a little bit controversial and harsh to say that, but it's the truth. When is the last time Josh Allen has outplayed Joe Burrow? I can't remember it. It hasn't been recently. It may be a couple of years ago. But I can't recall the last time Josh Allen looked like the better quarterback on the field when these two teams played. The Bengals just have all the answers against the Buffalo Bills. And the Bills Super Bowl window, I don't think it's closed. I think the Super Bowl window for the Bills is open just as much as it's open for the other teams in the conference, such as the Ravens, the Jacksonville Jaguars. But the difference between the Bills not being able to get over the hump hasn't been talent. I don't think it's been all that much coaching. It's just been the fact that they can't find a way to stop the two best quarterbacks in the NFL, that being Patrick Mahomes and Joe Burrow. That was a large reason why a lot of quarterbacks weren't able to win Super Bowls during the Tom Brady era, because Brady and the Patriots were just that dominant. Josh Allen is the kind of quarterback that doesn't equate to championship football. He is talented enough to win you a Super Bowl. I'm not saying that he's not an elite quarterback. All I'm saying is with his recklessness and his aggressiveness and his style of play, he's going to cost you a lot of big games in the postseason. And when you're going up against quarterbacks that take care of the football, that are efficient and methodical, you're going to end up on the losing end of things if you're Sean McDermott. Your defense is already struggling. You can't afford a Josh Allen turnover or a Josh Allen reckless decision. And you also got to be able to get consistent pressure on Joe Burrow. When the Bills came into this game, Throughout the week, they were saying, oh, we only lost that game in the postseason because the snow. Well, I didn't really see too much of a difference. It doesn't matter if you're playing Cincinnati in the rain, sleet, or snow, you're still getting your buck kicked. This game never really felt like the Bills had a chance. And my homeboy Juice is telling me the Bills are going to win. They're finally going to get one on Cincinnati. I doubt that. Joe Burrow just has Josh Allen's number, and he also has the recipe to carving up Sean McDermott's defense. Until the Bills are able to play complimentary football and they can find a way to get consistent pressure on Joe Burrow and Josh Allen can find a way to stop getting outclassed by Burrow, the Bills, not only are they going to struggle to beat teams like Cincinnati, but they're going to continue to come up short in the postseason. This has nothing to do with Super Bowl window. This has everything to do with execution. There's no such thing as a Super Bowl window. Nearly every single year, half the league has an opportunity to win the Super Bowl. There are teams that make it to the championship game that nobody expected. When the Bengals went to the Super Bowl in 2021, nobody saw that thing coming. They weren't even expected to finish no more than third place at best in the AFC North in 2021. But the difference is that they have Joe at quarterback. And even when Josh Allen plays his best games, the defense plays their worst games. The Bills just can't find a way to put a good enough team on the field that suited the slowdown this Bengals offense, and this Bengals team. And maybe after this season, they need to part ways with Sean McDermott. That doesn't mean he's a bad coach, but sometimes you have coaches who reach a certain level with the organization where they can't elevate that franchise anymore. We've seen it with Andy Reid with the Philadelphia Eagles. We've seen it with Tony Dungy, his early years with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, and maybe we are starting to see Buffalo peak under Sean McDermott. Maybe for Buffalo to get over the hump, they need to go out there and hire an offensive-minded coach. But the Bengals own the Buffalo Bills, and Joe Burrow has minority ownership of this franchise and Josh Allen as well. And for the people, I don't even want to move on yet. I still got one more thing to say. When Josh Allen got announced as the cover athlete of Madden this year, I was saying this makes no sense. 
he's not better than Joe Burrow. And I don't even think I would put him over Lamar Jackson or even Jalen Hurts. And Bills fans got really defensive. And they made all the excuses in the world for Josh Allen saying, Josh Allen ain't had no run game. Josh Allen ain't had no great offensive line. Josh Allen ain't have this. He ain't have that. Well, Joe Burrow in this game, he didn't have a consistent run game either. And they still won. So what's your excuse now? You can only make so more excuses, so much excuses for a guy like Josh Allen before you finally can look at him and say, you know what? Maybe he's the problem. Maybe Sean McDermott's the problem. If it keeps on happening, that means that you have a common culprit responsible for getting the same outcome. You know, I get mad when I have my friends who call me about the same situation that they continue to put themselves in. And you see, with Bills fans, they continue to get outclassed by the Chiefs and the Bill, or the Chiefs and the Bengals. And what's the reason? Josh Allen and Sean McDermott. Even when Josh Allen plays well, the defense never shows up. And even if the Bills defense is able to show up and have a good performance, Josh Allen just makes too many mistakes throughout the game where he can't put you in position to beat a guy like Joe Burrow. The Bengals get their fourth straight win of the season with their 24-18 win over the Bills, and the Bills drop to 5-4 and four on the year.